Hello guys, this is your girl Lynn of Lynn Makeover and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, I'm a makeup artist, a vlogger and a content creator. I talk about lifestyle, vlogs and beauty. Today, I want to show you guys how to do your everyday makeup or as a beginner, how to do your makeup as a beginner. You don't have to do too much. So stay tuned, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share and comment as well on what you like to see in my next video let's get into it first of all if you want to do your makeup as a beginner you have to clean your face it is very important you have to use a wet wipe to clean your face thoroughly before any other thing so this is me cleaning my face with a wet wipe I don't know if you can see any dirt over here, but it's very important. You need to clean your face. If you don't remember anything at all, just remember that before you start your makeup, you have to clean your face. After cleaning your face, I know there are people who tell you that you have to apply your, uh, your primer, you apply your foundation first before drawing your eyebrow but as a beginner a first timer you have to draw your eyebrow first i told you, you have to draw your eyebrow first before any other thing if you've mastered the art of doing makeup that is when you will do your foundation your highlighting contouring first before drawing your eyebrow but as a beginner everyday makeup just draw your eyebrow first before any other thing so let's get into me drawing my eyebrows i'm just using uh, any shade from my powder palette to set my eyebrows before drawing it Please, if you are doing your eyebrows, use less pressure. I'm using less pressure. Just make sure you are taking your time. Don't rush yourself when doing your eyebrows. So after drawing your eyebrow, you just have to conceal them. When you are concealing your eyebrow, beneath your eyebrow, you have to use a concealer that is lighter than your foundation color or your foundation shade. But when you are um, concealing the top, you have to use your foundation color. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. If you are concealing your eyebrow, use a lighter shade beneath the eyebrow but on top you have to use your foundation shade to console the top so let's let's get into that so i'm using um per uh, perfect camouflage super matte foundation i got it from the general merchant on ig it's a very good concealer though quite expensive but i guess it's worth it is worth it I don't know if you can see but this is me using a lighter a, a concealer that is lighter than my shade my foundation shade to console the top of the down of my eyebrow
please like i said if you are drawing your eyebrows you need all the patience in the world though. you don't have to rush it just take your time So it is time for me to console the top of my eyebrow and I'm using the Blossom Makeup Foundation. This is my color shade, like my foundation shade. So I'm using this one to console the top of my eyebrow. This is me blending out the concealer. have to use your concealer brush to clean the the beginning of your eyebrow so that it not look so obvious just take your time clean it a bit so that it won't look so obvious It'll look more kind of natural The eyebrow is a little okay. It's okay, not a little, it's okay. So after as a beginner, after you are done with your eyebrow, the next thing you have to do is your eyeshadow. Oga, okay, please, if you've not mastered the art of doing makeup yet, nobody should advise you to do your foundation first before doing your eyebrow. I bet but at the end of the day you will regret doing that. Just draw your eyebrow, do your eyeshadow. Even fix your lash before applying your foundation and lipstick should be the last two things you have to do as a beginner because I bet you, I think I'm in my fifth year of being a makeup artist and first two years or three years, I always like up to now, I find it very difficult to, I don't know how you people do with your foundation and all of that face before doing your eyebrow. I'm trying to learn that as well. But Trust me, that's not my thing. I, I don't know. I don't I don't want to force what I believe in down your throat, but I believe drawing your eyebrows, seeing the shape perfect before doing other things to go a long way as a first timer or a beginner or someone learning how to do makeup. So I think we have to do our eye uh, eyeshadow. It's time for us to do our eyeshadow. And I'm just going to do something very nude. Not too many colours. Just make sure you prime your eyelid very well before doing your eyeshadow. Okay, so I'll use um, maybe a, a shade that is more like my my uh, powder palette sheet to go over my 
eyelid before the eyeshadow. Like this, if, if emergency, I, I could just go like this. It took, but how can you apply, apply foundation, your blusher? No, 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 no. I don't think that's not my thing, honestly. Like this, if I, I feel, I feel go to anywhere. Else. If if you are a pro, if you become a professional, you can do you can do your foundation, everything you have to do before doing your eyebrow. But as a first timer, I'm doing this video uh, because of those people who are learning makeup or trying to do their makeup for the very first time as a beginner. This is how you have to go. Draw your eyebrow first. After which you go uh, with your eyeshadow. This is what I'm I'm about to do. Uh, where is my eyeshadow? So, from your eyeshadow palette, you can pick any matte color. Any matte color, maybe this one, probably this or this. Not the shimmy ones. You have to use the matte ones first before applying any shimmy ones. So probably I'll I'll go by using this one. just like a base before the real eyeshadow come. Like I said, I'm, I'm just going to do a nude color, probably this or this. Any of them, this, this or this. I don't want to do anything loud. Time for us to uh, do our eyeliner. This <laughs> this process is very tricky myself up to now. It's the most, most difficult thing I find in doing makeup the eyeliner. Because if you don't take your time, your eyeshadow can get messed up and can be very frustrating. So I think. You have to take your time. This eyeliner is actually very good. I got it in, in, in the market, I think 10 CDs or so. But I think it's doing wonders. So just use your mascara. I'm not going to fix lash. I'm not going to fix false lash. So after this, uh, I have to apply my my serum, my vitamin C, and my primer before finally my foundation.
I don't want to use primer. I think I'm not going anywhere. Okay. But because I'm teaching you guys, after the uh, vitamin C syrup, you have to use your primer. Any type of primer. But me, I prefer using this or milk of magnesium. But I won't be uh, applying this because just doing this video, I'm not going anywhere. So after the serum, just know that you apply your face primer before the foundation. So I'm, I'm going to use this, the foundation I'm going to use. Blossom makeup foundation. I don't know shape. I don't know. Using Coco 12. So. I don't know. I normally use my beauty blender, but today I let me try using this foundation brush and see if. If you're applying your foundation, don't drag it. Dab into your skin. Just dab the foundation into your skin. I'm using less pressure, actually. Don't do it like as if you guys are fighting. No. Just use less pressure. As you can see, there is a difference here. There is a difference here. This is my real face. <laughs> and this is my makeup face. You can see there is a difference here. And there is you can you can see the foundation is actually inside my skin it absorbs so well don't drag it like i said just dab into your skin even if you are using beauty blender just dab with less pressure dab. I, don't, I don't like using too much foundation it's not my thing foundation is actually very nice it's not oily okay it's oil free and sweat proof okay So as a beginner, I don't think there is any need for, for you to do contouring, highlighting, and all, all of that. But you see, there are people who will still do um, contouring, highlighting. So for the sake of those people, I will just have to go through it. You use a foundation that is lighter than your actual foundation to do the highlighting. So this is me using the same brand but a different shade a more lighter shade more lighter shade so so this is what we call highlighting not going to do too much of that Okay, so I want to contour uh, my nose, so I'm using a darker shade for my powder palette. And I'm using that same darker shade for, to contour my cheekbones.
time for me to apply my blusher. You see, make happen. There is no, there is no rule in doing how to achieve your makeup. You see, everybody will come do it like this, do it like this. But I bet you, at the end of the day, what you are comfortable with, you should be able. Because I, from from the beginning of my makeup, there are things I could not do on my own or the way they taught me at school. Trust me, I'm doing it in my own way now. So as a beginner, just try and follow this process. But as time goes on, you, you have to develop your own way of doing the makeup. That's the whole thing. Like my madam will see my makeup videos and will be like, oh, but this is not how like you're actually trying your best and all of that. Because if you sit down and you want to fold your arm, how your madam taught you or how you've been viewing it on uh, social media you just have to follow that process i bet you won't be able to get a unique makeup like some, something that defines you. you see when people see my makeup i don't know they'll be like this is in makeover work how do you know probably my eyebrow how i don't use too much foundation that's my signature so at the end of the day just flow with what you are comfortable with but we are all here for this content so just just follow what i'm trying to teach you for now but i bet you you have to develop your own way of doing how how to go about your whole makeup so because it's an everyday makeup or something for a beginner the blusher i don't think it need to pop out like that just something little yeah just something little like this Everything you have to dab, we don't have to drag, dab. So, after that, just the same powder. You see, powder palette can do a lot for you. You people don't know. That's why you buy plenty makeup kits. You don't know what to use them for. Try me. Don't they spend money like that. Too. This thing can do a whole lot of things. I'm setting beneath my eyes before. I'm not going to apply um, setting powder, so this will do the justice for me as you can see okay so it's time for us to apply um do our um, lipstick anyhow anyhow if you want to do your lipstick i beg you make sure you are lining your lip it's very don't just get up pick your um lipstick and just apply it at least use your uh, dark brown pencil to line your lip first before applying your lipstick i don't you can draw the top one face that anyone's goes like anything goes so because i'm just doing something with not too many colors uh this eyeshadow palette i think i got it from the general merchant as well on the ig i think i'm just going to go with this nude or this one of them This is not blending. This is called smacking. You smack your lip together. So next time your makeup artist tell you smack your lip, she's actually telling you to do your lip like this.
can actually leave the lip like this, but because for me, I'm a lip gloss person, so I must add a lip gloss to the lip. I love blush. I love applying blush, So guys, this is my final look and I hope this video um, helps you one way or the other on how to do your everyday makeup or as a beginner, how to do your makeup. You don't have to do too much, just make sure you put your eyebrow quite nicely and move eye, eyeshadow. You don't need a false lash as a beginner. And please, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. It's very important. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you get notified. Share and please leave comments on what you would love me to do in my next video or what you would love to see in my next video. This is your darling. Till next time. Bye.